Hi everyone, my name is Raziel King and welcome to another tour review and today it's a triple first. First is that this is the first figure I've ordered from AliExpress and I haven't had any issues, although shipping was long, but I did get that figure at almost 25% discount. Also, this is my first third party figure from Iron Factory and it's my first legend figure presenting Last Prophet, also known as Alpha Trion. It's already out of the box because I can't keep uh, stuff in boxes too long. I just get excited, I just need to play with them. But what sold me on this figure was the pictures. Uh, they do it justice. Like you have very nice posability with this figure. You have great details. I knew they were gonna be small. I never realized how small. I was excited to receive it and I did have a lot of fun playing with it. Without further delay, let's take a look at this figure and I'll give you my impressions. I, and from all appearances, it gave Megatron what he wanted. So let's take a quick look first at the instructions. It's pretty basic. I think they're missing out on a couple steps. When they say right here to clip the foot together, they don't actually show you how to fold the peg so that it actually clips together. The head, you know, they say rotate the head, but they don't tell you to angle it and then twist it, then push it back. And so I think they're missing steps. I mean, it gets the job done, but it's not what I'm used to. And now the staff weapon looks really good. Honestly, this, this is a good weapon. It looks awesome. The paint, silver and I'm colorblind, so I'm guessing pinkish, lightish red, purple, I don't know. But I adore this weapon. It's actually really, really cool. One of the reasons I bought this figure. And it's detachable, so you can use it properly with the different end mold, which we'll take a look at right now. First thing, this is an adapter to uh, be able to display it on a stand, which I don't own. But you have these different little hands, open hand for the staff, so it's easy to move and remove. You have one right and one left. Uh, right, where is it? Right here, no, nope. right here. So, very detailed. You have a closed fist. Basically what you do is like this, the fists, Unplug this and then you slide this in. It's very tight fit. Don't push too hard, but uh, a nice feature. You have two open hand. If you wanna have him wave goodbye at Optimus Prime. And on the figure itself, you have closed fists for when he's really angry. Let's clear this up. Uh, figure itself is pretty impressive. Honestly, I. I can't complain about the details and the molding, the paint, paint application are really good. They added this foot thing, this, I don't know, spike. But if you look at pictures of Ultra Tryon in G1, he doesn't have that. So I'm probably gonna display him like this, you know, to have a normal earth foot. But if you like to have eye fashion on your figure, then that's, that's the thing for you. Very nice details, the shoulder, I like, I really like the shoulder. He looks imposing and respectful. You know, you get some wingspan because of transformation, but kind of a big kibble, but there's no gaps and you know, it's covered. There's no waffle, except, you know, maybe here under the arm. It's not that bad. It's, it's the engineering of this thing is actually pretty impressive so articulation you have arm the the shoulder piece really does hinder you can't you could go around if you moved the cable the head could rotate if it wasn't held by his uh, neck guard arm goes up to here Rotation just under the shoulder, elbow bend, and rotation 360. The leg goes up to here. 
and would go back a lot more if it wasn't for the kibble. You have a 90 band and you have good movement on the the foot is on the ball joint so you can angle it forward there's no not that much of a backward and a bit of ankle tilt not bad at all so overall i'm impressed with the engineering because if you compare it with car class figure this is on a whole different level i mean this ha has some articulation but it's full of waffles uh, here and the back and great figure if you've seen my review on the toy hacksing and the short I did I actually love this figure you know because of the nostalgia this is a figure to love because of the engineering and the, the paint and the molding it's great let's do a couple more comparison here he is with Earthrise Prime Siege Ultra Magnus and Netflix Bumblebee Let's do a couple poses. So with different hand, you know, you can hold the staff and ward off evil with the wavy hand. Or you can have him angry shooting laser beam from the tip of the staff if you want. Or you can have him do his perfect dance move with the jazz hands. Or you can pretend he's been misassembled and he has two right hand. Ha <laughs> ha! And now for transformation, I suggest using the closed fist because it kind of gets in the way with the other hands. Uh, but let's take a look. First off, what you need to do is raise the shoulder like this, it's on a joint, so you want to put it. And this is what I meant about the head. You have to lift it a little bit, twist it, and then push it back, and then it pegs here, and there we go. Not bad of an alt mode. But like most Alpha Tryon, it's an afterthought. He never had a transformation back in the show. Uh, there's no place to put the weapon, really, unless you want to slot it here. And it looks incredibly stupid. But that's not part of the instruction. That's just me playing with the figure. I think there's a lot more gapage and holes and robot parts showing in the alt mode. But the engineering itself is pretty decent. The paint, the color, it's really good too. I wish the head would show a little less. But I think Iron Factory for this character, they used a good uh, mold. And uh, I think it looks okay. Now let's have some scale with Studio Series 86 Sweep or Scourge. And you can see the similitude between these, these two space boats. I think Last Prophet looks okay. But I think the SX86 really knocks it out of the park. And here he is with Toys R Us exclusive Trust, which I wish I had his brothers, but you know, Canada. Obviously doesn't scale, but just to give you an idea how tiny this guy is. One thing I really wish they would have done, maybe a little, not better, but different, is the mouth. If I look at this face sculpt, it doesn't convey the same wisdom that I, I'm used to seeing in Alpha Tryon. I know that like they did the beard around the mouth, but I think they should have went with a no mouth because of the size, so that he would have looked a little wiser. But now he looks like his mouth is open, like he's seeing, he's scared, or he's seeing something so amazing he can't believe it. But I wish he would have conveyed a little more wisdom. All right, so final thoughts. Am I disappointed? No. Am I glad I got this figure? Yes. Am I jumping on the bandwagon of legend scales? No. I don't think it's for me. It's not for everyone. I respect everybody who does love legend because yes, it's fantastic molding, fantastic details, articulations are great, paint applications are amazing. Hasbro could learn something from this, honestly. But that being said, the scale is a little too small for me. I'm not going to rebuy my whole collection to have them fit with Alpha Tryon. I think it's a fantastic figure, don't get me wrong. And this is definitely a collector's item for the price point, which was if I would have gotten it on other sites than AliExpress, it would have been almost $60 Canadian. But on AliExpress, it cost me around $35. So 
I don't think that for a price point of, you know, suggested retail of $60 that you would buy this for a kid. This is a figure for display purposes for the actual collectors. But I do understand why people like this because of the quality of the figure. I've been told that a new age is even better than Iron Factory. I don't know, maybe I'll get a new age figure at some point to test it out. I do recommend this figure if you're into the legend scale. So there you go guys, that's my review and first impression of my first legend scale figure. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I did not disrespect anybody who loves legend. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe, hit the bell. Also leave a comment, I love reading you guys. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.